Welcome to Sail Tales. My name is Gary. On this channel we talk a lot about scratch building your own model RC sailboats. In this video I'd like to show you an easy way to make hatch covers that really fit. These hatches are typical of those that I show on the foredeck and the aft deck of the Barrow Space Boat designs. But you might apply hatches like this to almost any model boat. I cut this deck out of a piece of pine plywood. It was sold as 1 8 inch, but it actually measures about 2.4 millimeters thick. I wanted the finished deck to be a darker color. So before I did anything else, I used a ballpoint pen to draw planking lines and then stained the deck with an oil-based stain to get the color I wanted. I let the stain dry thoroughly for two or three days. If the plans call for deck beams glued to the underside of the deck, do that now. Then clamp the deck in place over the bulkheads. We want the deck to take on the shape of the camber before we glue the combings in place. The combings are made up of 1 8 by 1 quarter inch basswood strips. Standing on edge, glued on top of the deck around the perimeter of the opening. The pieces which go across the deck, that is at the front and the back of the hatch opening, will need their bottom edge shape to match the deck camber. We're going to assemble the hatch cover in place, right on top of the deck and combing. Round up some painter's tape, plastic wrap, toothpicks, super glue, and clamps. If you don't have colorful little clamps like these, you can hack common clothespins to do the job. I've already cut pieces for the hatch cover frame leaving them about a quarter inch longer than they need to be, and I've cut the plywood top, also a bit oversized. One wrap of tape will result in a pretty close fit. If you like to paint heavily, or if you intend to mount the hatch cover with hinges, Go a second time around with the tape. Remember to sand the camber shape into the lower edge of this piece.
You now have a hatch cover glued together. Here's a couple more hatch covers that were assembled in the same manner. Trim off the wild ends of the framing and use a sanding block to flush up the plywood edges and round the corners a little bit. If the hatch cover is very big, you may want to glue some stiffeners to the underside. Notice they don't go all the way to the edge. We have to leave room for the hatch cover to fit over the combing. The little triangle you see glued there just marks the forward end of the hatch cover. So now you have hatch covers that fit really well. We still have to fasten them onto the boat. One way to do that is with these stainless steel push pins. I make the pins bending stainless steel wire around the nose of a pair of pliers. If I make a group of pins all over the same pliers, they come out the same size. I put the hatch cover in place over the combing and drill holes right through the hatch cover frame and through the combing. If you drill the holes with a bit just a few thousandths smaller than the wire you use, the pin will push in snugly and the friction will hold it in place. I sometimes like to mount the hatch covers with hinges. I've used these model airplane hinges cut down in size a little bit. I've cut a relief in the hatch cover frame so that the hinge lies flush with the surface. I glue the hinge in place. Be careful not to get any of that super glue on the hinge pin. Then I drill two small holes and glue in toothpicks. And I trim off the toothpicks, put a dab of super glue over the top of them, and that holds those hinges for sure. I hold the hinges down to the deck with almost any small screw. It's probably a good idea to glue a piece of backing on the underside of the deck for the screw to grab a hold of. Hold the hatch shut with a single push pin. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of a how-to video, give us a thumbs up and let us know. Happy boat building. Stay safe out there. <laughs>